today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the first glimpse ever at the two stage attacking in the builder hall troops abilities and their mechanics make sure to watch all the way until the end because i've never been this hyped for a builder hall update and take a look at the bomber's ability and i am so turned on that i might change my name to manny the bomber wait no manny the bomb <laughs> So let's go ahead and take a look at each troop's abilities and then I will show you guys some gameplay on how attacking will work. That Night Witch's ability looks pretty fire. She spawns rage tap bats that swarm any defense. Just imagine having multiple abilities at once. Sounds pretty OP to me. What do you think? The battle machine now has the chain effect just like the E-Drag. It's the first target and then it chains into two more defenses that can be one tile apart. The BB Dragon is a super dragon on steroids take a look at his ability it hits five buildings i don't think that mortar did any splash damage to any of those buildings by the way that looks freaking awesome that giant is no longer your normal giant he has an eternal tone just like your warden from the main village it will become indestructible for about a second taking no damage that my friend is pretty cool the cannon it looks like it has the weakest ability turning into a mortar the splash damage from the mortar is one tile but in my opinion i think we need a second tile for the splash damage because the mortar looks pretty weak as of right now but remember this is only the beta and they still got a lot of work to do we'll see where we go from there what do you guys think do you guys think the cannon needs another tile i think so or what else can we add to this cannon slash mortar to make more OP. Leave a comment below. The Flying Larry. Okay, I know I will be roasted by you guys. The Flying Larrys. I have no idea what their name is, but that's how you know. I've never been interested in the Builder Hall. Take a look at some of my Builder Halls, guys. Even my main Builder Hall is absolutely rushed. So, Flying Larry, <laughs> that's the new, that, that, that's my name. What you gonna do, huh? What you go on to do. Flying Larry, he has this menacing looking bomb attached to the balloon. It does splash damage and it does break those walls on one shot. Pretty cool. You can get some nice value with those Flying Larrys. Last but not least, we have my favorite ability of the entire show right now, the bomber. The bomber's ability looks absolutely insane. If you're able to place the bomber right in the correct place and then you use that ability straight into the core, that will open up almost the entire base. And you can keep using this ability if you protect the bomber. It's going to be absolutely crucial for any attacks and to open up any base. I love this ability, guys. It looks absolutely crazy. Amazing work. But supercell but the only thing we missed was me as a troop in the main village come on supercell you guys are slacking so which one is your favorite ability out of all of these abilities leave a comment below so let's go ahead and take a look at the first sneak peek ever to see how attacking will work in the builder hall we have the giant into the top side with the cannon and look at the giant with that tone ability i don't know what the ability is gonna call but that looks pretty sick and look at the bomber's ability you can open up the entire base pretty much guys these bases are small so think about that Pay attention to the baby dragon's ability into the top side. You can see that all those all those troops, they have a number. Those are the number of units that you have. One through six, you have six units. And but look at the bomber. You use it again. You unlimited, pretty much, absolutely beast wall breaking through the entire builder. Oh, that is going to be a pretty broken ability, guys. I feel like this is going to be pretty easy, guys, in my opinion. The bases are small. We have abilities that are regenerating with time. And if you bring couple giants to ten and you can pretty much i mean recycle every ability and this is easy peasy guys we just reached a triple here three stars 100 percent they disappear they go into the second part of the base and you can see now that we have a seventh troop we have another cannon in every attack that they showed they we get an extra troop so that could make a big difference you can add a fresh giant there to make sure we to make sure that giant tanks for anything but you know they they for some reason they love those mortars and i don't really think those mortars really look so op i feel like they didn't they need at least one more tile of splash damage we're gonna see how op they are once the update comes out and guys this is just the beginning sneak peeks weeks are coming up real soon i truly don't know when they're gonna start but they announced it that they're approaching really quick so we should be able to expect this update pretty fast guys the night witch into the top side and 
This is just so awesome. The baby dragon, super dragon on steroids with the ability, the battle machine with the chain effect, the super witches or super, the, the night witch with those rage that bats. Looks pretty cool, guys. Looks pretty cool and I'm pretty hyped. And witches rich 200%, six stars and we get the nice silver look. Stars, they look pretty sick, guys. So what's your opinion about this? Leave a comment below. Make sure to smash the thumbs up and subscribe. Stay goaded.